Hello there, I hope you're well. I'm Lou, I'm an expert in Tai Chi and Qigong, working in association with Parkinson's Care and Support UK. And today this video is an ongoing one for a Qigong form called the Eight Brocade. If you've already seen the previous ones, this is going to just recap and go on with the next few movements, as is the following video as well. So just do the best you can. We'll start off with the warm ups as always, the next moves and a recap, and then the close down. And as I say, it'll continue with the following videos as well. Apologies for the camera, I'm still waiting to connect a new one, but it's arrived, so hopefully that works well. So I'll adjust the computer screen accordingly so you can see my footwork as well. Okay, enjoy. So first of all, feet hip width apart, one hand linked with the other, and we'll just do a few of these. The ideal is six of each three the bare minimum, so I may just um, do a few different rounds of each just for today to get through the form. So here we go. So relaxing the waist, one, two, one, two. Two more each side. Go at your own pace. Now, one arm up, other hand on the side of the waist. The hand that's on the side of the waist pushes you over. So you bend the opposite leg and arm. So that pushes you over and the whole side comes over. The arm is nice and loose, nice and soft. So don't overstretch that. It's not like an aerobic move. Good. And again. One last one. Good, very good. So feet together, lace your hands together. Then turn them down, keeping your legs straight, just come down as far as you can, and then stretch up and back. You can't go very far, even here, that's fine. Just with practice, you'll be able to go further. Sometimes the breath will help as well. So breathe in here, breathe out, come down. And one more. Okay, so feet wider apart this time. Just as wide as you can take them, whatever works for you. Listen to your body. Right hand on the left wrist and shift the weight. So one leg bends, the other one stays straight. And just alternate. So you're getting a stretch in between the legs and keeping your hips forward with your arms in front of you. One more now. Good. Now here's gets a little bit trickier. <clears throat> Couldn't even say the word then. So hands in fists, cross the chest, the outer arm comes up, the other one down. As you bend one leg and straighten the next, you turn the wrist, still in fist, and look down the straight leg. And cross them over the other way around this time, the outer arm up, the other one down in front of the body, then bend one leg, straighten the other, look down the straight leg. And again, swap them round. Up and down, open up, back to centre, outer arm up, inner arm down, open up. One last time, each side, up and down, open up, last time, good. So I'm just going to adjust the screen a little bit for you. <laughs> so, here now, from hips forward, Turn the back foot round slightly and the front foot. One hand at the base of the spine with the palm away, other hand here, and push through. So you're bringing the weight into the front leg. Turn that foot by the heel, then this one, and repeat. So you want to keep your upper body as upright as you can. And repeat. Good. So the object here is, is to stretch the legs, but also keep the upper body as upright as you can. One more each side. Again, just go as far wide as you can. Now, same thing with the legs. Right hand on the left wrist, bring the weight forward and stretch up and down. If you can keep the arms up as you turn, 
then do. But if not, if they do come down and back up, that's also fine. Just getting the general shape of things and managing the turns. One foot in, other foot out. Keep yourself safe and steady. Just by doing this can help you prevent falls and accidents. And relax. So I'll just adjust the screen again for you. So now we're on to the upper body warm up. So feet hip width apart. Here for two and open up. So palms down, palms up. So palms down here, palms up. So all at chest height, open up. Again, palms down, two, palms up, two. Two more, one, two, one, two. Again, very good for your chest, your heart, your lungs. If you're getting a cold, finding it hard to breathe, a bit anxious. Now, the whole body moves, bringing the arms up and back. The arms can be heavy, so take it easy. And forward. Have a go at this, it's your waist that moves. One arm forward, one back, come around. And again, it's always got to be one arm forward, one arm behind. Keep moving the waist, the feet, the legs, stay where they are, then change. Start the other way. One forward, one back, side of the body, forward, back, up. Open down, side of the body, open up. And again. One more. And relax down. Now, rolling the head three times in each direction. Back the other way. And relax. So, we're just going to do something that I like to do sometimes as an add-on to the warm-up. If you're feeling particularly tense, tight, anxious, sometimes it can be all you need. So we're going to bring the shoulders up to the ears really tight. As you let them go, give a good sigh out. Ready with me? Here we go. Again. And have a good shake out. Good. So just for today, finish off. They might differ slightly from video to video, but you can add on some different warm ups. Just for the knees, rub your hands, place your hands just above your knees, fingertips there. Forward and back, let's do six of each. And three more. Just get your knees moving a little bit. And then circle if you're able to. In one direction. And back the other way. Good. And if your fingers are a bit tight, just remember, fist release, fist release, fist release. Shake it out. Have a good shake. Get it all moving. Shake it out. Okay, so moving on. I'm going to do at the very end of this series uh, the whole move for you so that you can recap. But you've got a couple of videos already taking you through the... Um, first few movements, so I'm going to move on now. So just a quick recap for you so that you know where I am at and I'll add on. So each one will start from the beginning. The eight brocade Qigong form. So we're going to open up three times. Your hands start just below your navel, come up to the space between your forehead, palms facing you, slowly relax and open them. Again, breathing in. Breathing out. You can remember this is really good to begin each session like this. We're just letting go and opening up. When we do this at the end, it's for a different intention to gather and store the energy you've created. Bring it back to your centre, your lower dantian, in this case, a thumb width below your navel. 
So the eight brocades so far, I'll show you four of each move. Bending the legs, come down. Hands to in between the eyebrows, turn the palms up, open. As you come to shoulder height, gather back into below the navel, bend the legs, breathe in, straighten to this point. Turn the palms up, open, gather back in. And again, breathing in, come up, turn, breathing out, shoulder height, gather back in. One more now. And gather. Good. The next one, straighten, gather up to chest, turn the hands out, send the chi, the energy away. Gather in the same way. Breathe in, elbows out, open the chest, turn the hands, send the chi out. What? Two more. Gather. Turn the hands, send the chi away. Come down. Gather. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, now we change it. Bend the legs. Turn the hands like a ball to chest and then one hand up, one arm down and stretch. So your hand is flat palm there and flat palm up and stretch simultaneously. And then back to centre, bending the legs slightly, change sides, one palm flat up, the other one down. So the top palm is like so. Okay, if your wrist can do it. And then again, come through and stretch up and down and again here like a ball you're connecting the hands stretch up and down and once more stretch up and down and here pass the energy through stretching simultaneously up and down Okay, so now we're going to add on like we did last time, stretch up and down and just come over. And then bringing the palms to connect, bending the legs. First of all, as you did, looking straight ahead, stretch up and down, then stretch over. And again, up and down first and over. And slowly bending through, pass the hands across each other, stretch up and down and over. I'll just do one more each side because as the this is just the recap. Up and down, over. And again. If you're not having a very good day, if you can't stretch too much, just do what you can. Even if you were like this, you know, just keep it going. It will get better. Now for the next move, once your arm, the one you finished with is here, just bring that top arm down. So the eighth brocade, if you think of that number, the ideal number to do of each move here is eight. Eight full rounds. Otherwise, do four as your minimum for this. Now, if you remember, for this form, start with your right hand side in all of the moves, but if you forget, nothing's going to happen, nothing's going to go wrong. But if you do, right hand side first. So, now, your feet are hip width apart, what I want you to do is just soften the legs, and think of this, although I don't use any visualisation at all in, in the Qigong style that I've been taught, some of the styles, not just one, and that I teach, we don't use visualisation because we don't want to direct your chi, your energy. But sometimes just having an image in your mind, or an idea rather, a concept can help. So for this, I like to create that feeling of standing in a body of water and gently moving the energy around, like water, like creating gentle ripples. So from my right hand side now, I'm just going to gently move the energy around and come back the other way. And just gently keep moving the energy around. 
slowly, gently does it now. So one right, one left would be one. So you'll do eight of these. Nice and easy. Knees slightly bent. And one more round. You might find that each time you turn, you get further round, but don't let that be your intention. It just will probably happen quite naturally. Incidentally, if you ever feel a buzzing in your hands, you can see that the colour changes, your circulation is moving, it's improving. That's great. The buzzing will just be energy. But if you don't feel it equally, don't uh, chastise yourself or, or be angry. It may come later on, okay? But just to let you know, in case you wonder what's going on and your hands are feeling warm and fuzzy, maybe clammy even. It's just the energy, the chi moving. Now the next move, a bit more dynamic, but I'm going to show you two options. If your body's stronger, you're having a great time, a great day. I'll show you here first and change the camera. So you're going to have your palms up just below your navel. And if you can, you're going to squat. Come forward with your feet firmly on the floor, holding the energy here to above your head, and then bend the legs, open up wide as much as you can. And then when you come to this point, you gather the energy again, squat, bend, come up, bend those legs, open up as wide as you can, collect again. So I'll do one more like this, just get out for a walk. Here, open, and then gather back in. So really good massage for the whole body, the spine, the internal organs. I'll just show you my legs on the deeper version then. <coughs> Excuse me, not having my head here, but you don't really need to see that at this point. So if you can squat, bring the energy round. And then here, the arms are just above my head as I bend my legs and then open up wide here. So this is in line now with the point beneath the navel. Come back. And again, gather. Arms up above my head. Bend those legs a bit deeper. Open up. Gather. And back again. Okay, now the lighter version, which some of you may want to start with. And this is not just for people with Parkinson's. Some people aren't that agile or flexible. But especially if you're not having a great day or you just want to take it easy and build up. So you could just start here. Same principle, just bend here. As you come up, you straighten slightly. And then same thing, bend the legs and just open up as far as you can. Gather back in here, that point below the navel, bending lightly up, follow, bend the legs and open. Gather back in. So I'll show you sideways on. So the squat one obviously will be down and up. And this one is just bending slightly, come forward, straight back. Up here, bend, open. If you are having a challenging day and your balance is off, obviously don't go too far forward. Bend the legs a bit more maybe. And just here, come up, open and round. Okay, so one more here in the lighter version. Open, up, bend, slowly round. Now, sometimes it's happened to me, my shoulder can click, you open up here. The ideal is try not to do that hard. So you're up here, bend, take your time, open your chest, gather back in. So it really works the whole system. So that's the two levels that you can do that movement at. So 
I'm just going to recap these two and I'm going to add on through the video slowly so as not to overwhelm you because after this they continue to get a little bit more dynamic. So just to recap these two new moves, once you've done this one, stretching up and down and bending over the side, then you bring the top hand down. Okay, now incidentally, when you've done these, because there's eight of each, you can either do eight straight forward, up and down, and then eight like this, or you can do four of each, but always bring the top hand down, hands, palms flat down, soften the knees, this new move to the right, and just slowly come round. And just breathe normally when you do these. A lot of people ask a lot of the time about the breathing, which of course is important. But first of all, just get used to doing the moves. As long as you are breathing, I guarantee from experience and being taught this way, that your breathing will just regulate itself. So we'll do one more just to recap this move. And then when you finish this one, you finish here and you come and gather the ball just below your navel, your dantian point. You'll either widen your feet, your legs, squat, straight back, still connecting the hands come up, your legs straighten, here you bend and you open round. Gather, back to that point, I'll do one more here, squat, here, bend and open gently and fully. If you want to do the lighter version, feet about hip width apart, same thing, just bending slightly, come up in front, same thing, up here, legs straight, then bend the legs to support the back. Gather back in to that point. Again, bending slightly, straighten, open and bend the legs. Gather, come back in. So they're the two new moves and we'll continue with more next time. Now we're going to close down. We'll finish with a minute of horse stance. Remember that once you've done your warm-ups and your practice, let's say you did 15, 20 minutes in total, you only need to do two or three minutes of the horse stance at the end. However, if you wanted to do the warm-ups and develop this practice, which is really good to do horse stance on its own, for the immune system, circulation, nervous system, strengthen your legs, bone marrow, many, many benefits. Then do the warm-ups and do as long as you can in horse stance, but develop it over time. Let's say you were choosing to do five minutes, do five minutes for three weeks, once or twice a day, and then increase it after then. Okay, let's give it a go. So feet can be hip width apart, facing forward or out. Bend, palms down, straight back. Eyes open, always open. Look straight ahead, but not focused on anything in particular. And just breathe normally, if you can, in and out through your mouth. If you can and you want to go a bit deeper, then widen your stance. Same principle. Eyes open, look straight ahead. Just relax the eyes. And if your upper body is stiff, just ease it out. You can go through the two levels. There is a third, which I will uh, address further down the line because it's um, a different level altogether, a bit extreme for now. But say you were starting here and you could manage that and you wanted to challenge yourself, go deeper, and you did 30, 40 seconds here. Widen, come down. Try not to bounce, just stay there. Even if you only managed five or 10 seconds, then bring it in. Back to here for a few more seconds and then try it again here. That's the way to build up. So we just hold it now for about 10 or 20 seconds longer and then we'll finish off.
Good, well done. This can really make your hands buzz. Now we're going to finish off. I'll just come closer to the camera to remind you that you can do this standing with your feet hip width apart. If you wear glasses, good idea to take them off at this point. Rub your hands and then we're going to wash the face three times. So four fingers round the side of the nose, all the way up. Cover the eyes, over the head, round the ears, across the mouth. Two more, nose, eyes, top of the head, ears, mouth. One more time now. Good, and then back in your position, both of which you could do sitting down, but standing for this one is better. You're gonna close down like you did opening up, but to gather all the chi or the energy you've worked hard for and collect it, bring it back to your center. So gather, breathe in, palms facing you, in between the eyebrows, slowly bring it back down, stopping just below the navel at the dantian. Breathe in, breathe out. So you're gathering all the energy you created, bringing it back to your center. You've always got that there. And then you can either have ladies right hand there touching, then left, gents left, then right. Bring your feet together or right hand on top of the left wrist and thank you. Well done. Another achievement and we'll carry on next time. You'll probably see my hair looking different soon after lockdown. So take care, stay safe and stay well. See you soon. Bye bye.